Welcome back to What Arty Nibs with General Disturbance. This is a Churchill 7. It's the tier 6 British medium tank, or heavy tank, sorry. And it's located on the southeast spawn of fjords. Now this is the old fjords because this is a replay from 2014. And the name of the commander is Bertel, Bertel Lamir. Lanimir. Bertel Lanimir, sorry. <laughs> Should we call him Dave? No, we don't call him Dave because that's what uh, Jingles does. Let's go. Bertel Lanimir. And battle has commenced. Well, I sense that that's a 17 pounder gun located in the uh, Churchill 7. And he's headed off towards the pass directly to the uh, west of the spawn point. Remember, there are going to be subtle differences between this version of uh, World of Tanks and the recent versions, which are the uh, on the new update, 1.0. So you're going to see a lot of differences in the scenery. But the tanks are basically mostly the same. Remember that RT does have uh, considerable force uh, on this map and there's no stun mechanic, so tanks can be wiped out very, very quickly. But he's moving up to the uh, west side of the map and an enemy's been spotted. And it looks like he's in that little pass to the uh, right. But Bertalanum is going to the, the pass to the south. Notice the minimap's uh, considerably different as well. Now, he's having a quick look to the right because there is a KV-1 up there and a Hellcat. And they're engaging that KV-85 just slightly off. Can you get a shot from Hellcat? Yes, he can. And he's locked onto the Hellcat. I can't see the target. Nobody pulled around the corner, so we couldn't see him. But the Hellcat's pulling back behind the rock. There's a T25. I think he's taken auto aim off so he can shoot. I can't see the Hellcat at the moment, but I'm pretty sure he's probably still there. KV 85 is coming this way. He's backing up, actually. Okay, moving forward because we can't spot them, but there's probably going to be some enemy just around the corner. Yes, there is. Ow, we just took a hit. It's an American M6. And that's a tier 6 American heavy tank. Okay, moving forward again. Enemy is hit. Got a hit there. 141. We didn't, penetrate their armor. Uh, didn't get through that time, but going for the M6 Enemy again. Hit. And we're bouncing rounds from these uh, T1 Heavy that and the M6. And you can see some of these rounds are not going through. Scope. He needs to aim for the weak spots. Enemy armor is and he got one through the mantlet there. And takes him out of the game. Good shot. Now, let's we deal with this T1 Heavy. heavy. This is tier 5, so he should be an easy kill. And yeah, he's pumping rounds into him. He's pulling back. He can't withstand it. He's a one-shot now. Go for the lower plate, and he's out of the game. So at the moment, we're doing quite well. with three tanks up on the enemy. And uh, Bertalanum has actually got uh, two kills of those so far. But he's headed back because uh, I don't think there's any more heavies around the corner. And he's more concerned about uh, finding the enemies to the north. Yeah, there's a couple of uh, tank destroyers managed to make their way into the pass. I think one of them happens to be a Churchill gun carrier and the other a T-40. Well, the Churchill gun carriers are unusual tanks. You don't see it that often. There's a KV-1. Like to north. The Churchill gun carries a tier 6 tank destroyer. And there it is. It's first the tank destroyer version of the Churchill. It's also got a very meaty weapon, very dangerous weapon. But you don't see it played that often because not a lot of people like it. It's difficult to play well. No, he's pulled back around the corner, so nobody's spotting him at the moment. But I'm sure he's there.
We're gingerly pull, pulling forward. I don't think we have to worry about the Hellcat and the uh, KV-1. They're off to the north. Well, we certainly need to worry about that Churchill gun carrier. There's a couple of wrecks here. They might provide cover. There's the gun carrier. Okay, got to hit it for it. But ow, we took a big hit there. And he's seeking cover. And he's using that rock as uh, cover. Not going to help him being... He's going to get destroyed. Yup. So, three kills so far. There's still five enemy out there, though. Including a KV-85, a T-150, a KV-1, a T-25, and an M-37. Now, they seem to be dominating in the north, and the score is fairly even now. There's only one tank in it. And you can see the old version of the cap there. And we're moving along. I expect that the uh, M37 will probably be just ahead of us, somewhere in the uh, on the other side of the water. So he might come under RT fire any second. It will be 105mm ammunition from the RT, but it could be quite deadly. He's lost half his hit points already. There's the RT, the M37. Using standard AP, takes him out, one shot. Okay, so he's now capping. Means the enemy are going to have to try and come back and get a reset. But is he going to stay in the cap? No, nope, he's not. He's going to go after them. Well, with two tanks up at the moment. But the enemy's just clawed one. Well, it's now down. It's still two tanks up. The only remaining enemy are KV-85 and a T-150. And he's re-entered the cap. And I think he's getting ready for the these two heavies to come back. And I suspect, yeah, he's going to probably use that dip on the other side of the cap. The, the old version of the cap used to have a dip on one side. And it allows you to go slightly hull down. And yes, one of them's turned up. The KV-85 is in sight. And he's gone to the other side of the cap to try and get a bit of a hull down position. Turning to face and angle the enemy. We've lost sight of him temporarily. There he is. Okay. Now we can use this hull down position to attack the KV-85 on the way in. Okay, he's got one good hit. And you can still see the enemy. And takes him out of the game. There's the T-150. He's over the edge. Fires one round in, but that goes into the tracks. And he's tracked us in return. And that one went into the tracks and was absorbed. And that one didn't go in either. And we took a hit there. And we've got a strike there. Go for the turret. We didn't penetrate their armor. Couldn't go through the weak point or the upper plate. Fires another yeah. round into the tracks. We got hit again, but it didn't Enemy do any damage. Now we got some damage on him. It went through the side of the we vehicle. That went into the tracks. No, nope, that went them. into the tracks again. We've got help from the M37 come up. That might not be so good for the M37, though, because I think the T-150 might take him out. Yeah, he has. Bad mistake by the M37. Just offered him another kill. And that Your one took him out the game and wins. And that's a top gun. And let's have a look at the end of battle stats. And it's an ace tanker for Bertolomir in the, uh, was that Bertolomir? In the Churchill 7. He also picked up a demolition expert for blowing up one of the tanks that uh, he destroyed. That was the M37. He actually got an ammo rack on that one. A fire for effect for doing more damage than the hit points of his vehicle. A shell proof for blocking more damage than the hit points of his own vehicle. A duelist badge for taking down two tanks that did damage to him during the battle. A bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. He managed to get five exactly. A steel wall for blocking more damage than the hit points of his vehicle. At least a thousand hit points. Uh, received at least 11 hits uh, with at least a thousand hit points potential and survived the battle to win. Um, he got a high caliber for dealing the most damage in the battle and lastly a top gun for getting at least six kills. So let's have a look at team score. 
Well, highest damage, 2,547 hit points. He beat the KV-85, who had 2,009. Uh, the next highest scorer was the Churchill Gun Carrier, which we wiped out, 1,481, followed by the Hellcat, 1,129. The nearest highest scorer on his own team was the T1 Heavy. He managed one-third of the value of, the, of damage that uh, uh, Bertel uh, Lanamir did. Uh, he only managed to get two kills, whereas uh, Bert actually managed... Or well, Bert the Derp, actually, if it's his real name, managed six kills in total. That more, two more than the KV1. He only managed four, and the T150 only managed two. When it came to base XP, uh, well, Bert managed a fantastic 1,313. Uh, the highest that the enemy could get was 459 from the KV85. The next highest score on his own team, the T1 Heavy, only managed 756. So he really monstered that game and certainly carried his team. Let's have a look at detail report. Well, he fired 37 rounds, got 34 hits, 22 penetrations, damage of 2,547 hit points, of which uh, all of it was at less than 300 meters. He received 19 hits during the battle, 7 were penetrations, 12 were non-penetrations. That goes to show how uh, strong the Churchill 7 was. Even though he got those penetrations, it wasn't enough to, to bring him down, and a lot of the non-penetrations went into his tracks. He blocked damage of 2,475 hit points. He spotted three enemy vehicles, one of those was the M37, damaged six of the enemy, killed six of the enemy, and did damage assistance of 100 22 um, hit points. He also managed to get 56 cap points whilst he was capping. He might have actually had more had he uh, stayed in the cap at first instead of actually uh, coming out the other side uh, and then going over to the far side of the cap. But he did actually get reset during that battle and I suspect that the 56 cap points was only the amount that he received whilst he was having that fight with the T-150. He received 33,594 credits, and after repair, ammunition, resupply, he had 26,405 credits on the standard count. He also received base XP of 1,313 uh, experience points, uh, times 5 for the first victory of the day, so he took away 6,565 experience points in, in all. So, pretty good battle. This one was from uh, November of 2014, so it's a long time ago, uh, and you can see the old version of uh, World of Tanks there. Um, I hope it brought back memories for some. I'm sure it will for Bert the Derp. So if you enjoyed this replay, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel and hopefully it'll be your replay that I'll be featuring in the next video.